We did an experiment here at HeartMath to study how the information flows between the heart and the brain. And we actually discovered something quite remarkable, something that surprised us. The participants in the study were connected to various sensors to measure their brain waves, their heartbeats, and so on. And then they were exposed to various images. Some were high arousal, uh, like a car crash or a snake striking, while others were low arousal images, like bunny rabbits in nature scenes. The participants were asked to push a button. They then saw a blank computer screen for six seconds. The computer then randomly selected one of these photographs that it displayed for three seconds. After that, the screen went blank for 10 seconds. Now, they were prompted to push the button again, and they repeated this uh, protocol about 30 times. When we analyzed all the data, the results were astounding. The heart seemed to know the images before the participants ever saw the images with their eyes. If the future picture was going to be one of the emotionally arousing ones, the heart rate started to drop about five seconds before the image was randomly selected to be shown on the screen. So nobody could know what this future picture was going to be. The heart had a much greater deacceleration than if it was a, going to be a calm picture. These results have since been replicated in many different independent labs around the world, actually. Well, a lot of people say that I don't feel it in my heart. I feel it in the gut. But here's what's really happening. The information comes to the heart first. The heart then sends a different signal to the brain, which we can measure. Then you have a brain response, and then a body response. And with the body response, like the feeling in the gut or the hair on the back of the neck, is where it becomes conscious. But the real flow of information is heart, brain, body. And this is all happening many seconds before the actual event occurs. So what this body of research is telling us is that the heart seems to be connected to a type of intuition that is not bound by the limits of time and space. But what is that source of intuition? What is the heart connected to? And how can we learn to tap into more of that?